Basically, uh, I'm on my way to see Grandmaster Watts. Today we're going to talk about uh, Wing Chun. I'm also going to talk about, you know, his experience in Wing Chun and, you know, how he uh, created his own system with the techniques and tactics that he learned from the late Moses Powell. He designed from his own personal expression, basically. So that's what we, I got my man John with me, Sensei John with me. We about to go roll out there, White Plains, check him out. You know, yeah. John may have a few questions for him. You know, yeah. this is how we do it. It's early in the morning, as you can see. It's like seven or something in the morning. So, you know, I'm about to get out there. So we'll yeah. see you when we get out there, all right, y'all? This is doing this for all you guys that be emailing me, asking me for Grandmaster Watts. Uh, interview. When you want to interview Grandmaster Watts, all right. Take the time out off of my busy schedule. Go out there and do it because this is what we do. Martial arts for life, baby. All right? See you out there in White Plains. One. everybody as you can see I, I reached my destination in White Plains all right so today I'm gonna ask Grandmaster Watts I got him here today good day brothers good day. and you know today I'm gonna to, uh, discuss you know how he came with his system based off of his Wing Chun system and why not and he's gonna to explain to you how you know how he came about learning Kung Fu so how did you get started in Kung Fu basically well you know how how I got involved in Kung Fu I first started out in karate you know, um, there was no Kung Fu in Westchester, in White Plains, where I came from. Yeah. So, you know, um, so, you know, you're soul searching, you're young, you, you, you got a little money, you know, so um, why all my martial arts study in my life, you know, I pay for it, my parent, because I come from that era, parents didn't believe in any of this, yeah. you see, so I um, had to make my own way the best, best I could, you know what I mean? Yeah. So. I got, my uncle was a fifth degree black belt and killed Kishinkai by the name of Dicky Battle, studied under Masuyama and uh, uh, him, Stickman, Cowboy, uh, Sylvester, many greats uh, um, from Kyoku Shinkai who were brothers who, some are deceased, some are still here, you know, but those are some of my mentors who got me to start to get yeah. involved in the martial yeah. arts. So when my uncle moved away, he introduced me to a, a great man by the name of Xi'an Willie Mack. Shion Willie Mack was the Egyptian they go to karate in which is universal goju okay. today in which I studied under him since I was a child raised by him pretty much as a child because my mom was a mom dad uh, my father he dropped the ball he wasn't there you know what I mean yeah. so Shion you know uh, taught me gave me a strong foundation to what it was to be strong at all times and and to be effective and when you struck you know be deadly you know so uh, you know, I, I, Karate gave me awesome foundation, but one day I was walking and I happened to look up on Martin Luther King Boulevard. I, I saw a window and I saw Moyat Wing Chun. So, Kung Fu, I said, Kung Fu in White Plains? I said, nah, I gotta go see. So, you know, I went upstairs and a very you know, nice gentleman by the name of Julian. Julian is actually the day my seeing. Okay. You know, and 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 going full, in which he's a he's a master himself from the Dominican Republic. 
he also li you know lived here in the United States, but Julian, awesome brother, you know, one of the older brothers from the family. Um, I met him, uh, then when a, a very close friend of mine, in which is also one of my seeing, and which name is Kevin Martin, yeah. you know, um, Kevin uh, studied with Julian. You know, um, me, I ended up, in, when I got back from the military, studying with Grandmaster Moya, learning the Gong Fu. When I learned the Gong Fu, it changed my whole life. Because it, 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 I learned something about the wording, yeah. what it meant. Um, you know, a lot of us, you know, Americans, we just go Kung Fu, Karate. Did you ever break down what the word means, you know, because it has a meaning. Karate, you know, yeah. China way they receive. You see, China is the mother of karate. Karate came in the 17th century, Kung Fu 16th century, Qing Dynasty. So, I learned about tradition, I learned about nature, and um, I was being discussed about understanding the uh, energy and you know uh, things that you you thought was no important. Then this is when you really started understanding. Mind over matter, not matter over mind. Kung Fu really made me realize it was a way of life. So that's why I could, I understand uh, the nature of Bakwa, Tai Chi, Torle Fu Hong uh, Iron Monkey, um, uh, you, you know, Wu Dang, uh, uh, um, uh, Northern Mantis, Southern Mantis, you know, the different forms of Kung Fu that I saw were beautiful. And I, and I can remember back in the day in the 70s when it was, uh, they had the, a major Kung Fu um, extravaganza and tournaments at the garden. Yeah. You know, and I'm talking about brothers uh, was there getting busy who knew Kung Fu. Um, and now, you know, people starting to sort of shine away from Kung Fu uh, because of the new thing, MMA. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, like I say uh, and over and over again, you know, don't knock no one. You know, don't misjudge no one. Why? Because Gong Fu teach you to adjust to everyone. You know, especially if you learn real Gong Fu. See, when I say that expression about learn real Gong Fu, yeah. is when the Chinese accept you. Every American who studied Chinese Gong Fu, not accepted. And people say, why? Oh, that sounds right. No, not racist, it's real because of things that our country has done to their country. So they developed a way they dealt with us. So you had to prove yourself, not just in a physical way, in tradition, in honor, in courtesy, uh, in respect, and then carrying the family name, because you don't carry that school emblem. You can't, like one thing beautiful, uh, we all could go in a martial arts supply store and don't have to tell anyone that, uh, and we can buy a black belt. But if you go on a martial arts supply store and say, can I buy a Sifu, a Sigong? He'd go, uh, don't sell that. You have to go and earn that. Absolutely. You see? So that's why I, I, I wouldn't give up my Gong Fu for nothing. So my Gong Fu allowed me to rise my own system. See, the simplicity, the continuity, the economize emotion. I was a warrior, I was a fighter, who came to a beautiful Chinese Kung Fu system that really taught me how to control, really taught me how to use energy, really taught me how to stay paused and calm and how to channel energy and, 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 and know the difference from a strike, from a push, uh, how to control, how to absorb, how to run, how to smaller the circle, more economical it was to get to the point. You know, a whole lot go on in that, in that circle. You see, but you don't study Kung Fu, don't know anything so about this. Let me ask you a question. Like you see, I, I, I don't know if you, you know, watch on YouTube, you know, a lot of the Wing Chun. Lately, it's been a lot of Wing Chun practitioners, you know, fighting after the, uh, you know, I'm quite sure you've seen the Yip Man movies yes. and whatnot. And you see, like, most of these uh, Wing Chun practitioners, not to say that I'm belittling Wing Chun, I think Wing Chun is a great art. I right. mean, I've seen you in action. You yes, know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> I mean, my thing is, I noticed that a lot of these Wing Chun practitioners today, and when they, some of them got heart, so I give them that. I give them the highest respect for stepping up, trying to test themselves. But I've noticed that a lot of them hold this one position with their hands down, and why not? Like I seen one clip just a few days ago of a, a Wing Chun practitioner 
fighting. It was a kid too. Cat had kind of been no more than 16 years old, and he was fighting against a Muay Thai kid. They was they was young youngsters and whatnot. But the Muay Thai kid just ran through him, man. I mean, he hit him. And, and when I when I when I'm asking you is why you think that seems to be a problem today in Wayne Chong with well, a style that was created by a woman. Mm -hmm. And you know, and I'm noticing that they're not utilizing. A lot of the soft tactics that because a woman ain't gonna come hard. You know right. what I'm saying? She's exactly. gonna use angles, she's gonna neutralize, she's gonna be soft. Right. But when you see these other practitioners, you know, it's like it goes out the window. That's not just with Wing Chun, but most Kung Fu practitioners in general. Right. It goes out the window. They don't use what they practice. You see they do the forms and things of that nature. So when people say, Oh, he knows Wing Chun, he knows Ba Wa, he knows Tai Chi. But right. as soon as they fight and get hit, it goes out the window. Right. Man. No nothing. And what that comes from, the nature of the way they've been taught. See, you have some teachers who can teach physically. Yeah. You got some teachers who can teach mentally. But when you luckily find a teacher who can do both, mental and physical, then you be complete. Okay. You see, um, if you never had a fight, how could you teach someone how to fight? If you've never been hit, how could you ever know uh, the importance of defending? So if someone really knocked the water out of you or, or, or hit you off so hard that you cause a muscle spasm or you start peeing blood or something, right? Yeah. You think about that and go, do you want to feel like that anymore? So how I, will I stop this? So I'm going to develop a way to stop this because I can't allow this to happen anymore. I could die, maybe. You see, it's like a shortest distance between two points, straight line. So a lot of people who study uh, this form of Gong Fu, my system, Wing Chun, they stand on ceremony and don't understand truly the nature of bridging. Bridging, touch and go, touch and go. You know, um, bridging is not, it's not for you to just stand there like you're the Statue of Liberty. You know, it's a purpose behind that, but they say they study Wing Chun. They should know the purpose, but again, not accepted. You go there, Americanized attitude in the yeah. Gong Fu Moon Fu, and uh, teach a tiny, whole family, majority Chinese, yeah. and you come, American Eagle. Ah, you, you know, you know everything. You want to beat up everybody, hurt everybody, and you leave with no more than you walked in the door with. But you come humbly and work through the ranks and people see you really giving your heart you know yeah, not yeah. your ego you yeah. know because they call it mota chinese japanese say mochito alter the ego get rid of that crazy stuff come with clear mind so now i can remember i had guys you know maybe no bigger than that tree limb say to me um uh moi woo uh relax so imagine you fighter you know and i thought from karate you know be so you know so much energy and then I learned not need that much energy. Uh, especially when you break fear and you learn nature your tool. Learn trust your tool. Only way this tool works, you have to use it, experiment with it, practice, and you get hit. You know why you're getting hit. Not covering certain areas. You don't have your hands in position or you're not covering those positions or, or cutting those positions. See? You know, so you know fighters, so you don't think of this. You, so it's like a regular person walk up, who think he just smack you, he regular guy think, and all of a sudden he experienced the whole Bakwa system. Too late, you feel me? Because it's unexpected. That's why as warriors we expect. That's why. And so if you train that away, then your skill become different. So I don't teach my disciples um, just application. Make sure you appliance. See, because that's certainty. That's letting me know uh, tomorrow if I don't see you, if something happened, I know that you could defend yourself. So if you could defend teachers from teachers striking at you, and I really strike at you, you know, to make you defend, make you learn how to use your tool, get confident, then I make your brothers work you, push you all around the place, you know. And, and then something I noticed, <coughs> I see a lot of the, the she Sao and so many bad loopholes I see, a lot of crossing, a lot of wide circling, um, not the nature of the chunk, 
but they say they study the chunk. So maybe they learn rush food, not kung fu. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna ask you about a technique, a, a technique, right? Right. Grandmaster Wise is this like, let's say John throw the punch, you know, the, what is it, tan The tan sao. All right, tan Now, right. what do you think about that when he throws and you know this thing? Okay, why, I'm gonna ask you a question. Yeah. John is tall, you're tall. Yeah. Okay, you strike at me and I do time. This is time again, right? Time, okay. Time, this is facing you, time. If I step with time, time, see, time. Hold, I step with time, you're gonna move. Okay, so now do again. I do a time. Look, 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 look what I did. Watch my fifth. Watch my first foot. Watch the first foot. Punch. Do Now watch it. Now look, you starting to press down. Time. Look, look. Look what I did. I, I switched over and look what's here. Ding. Ding. Okay, so what I want, what, 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 what time, you're tall, I don't want to do this, look, I'm going to do this, see, that's going to be effective, this here is going to get me caught trying to reach, so now, look, you're going to bagua walk my ass this way, bam, I ain't stupid, <laughs> see, <laughs> you, you feel me, see how I realized what would happen, so, now watch this, if I do it, and, and this is not proper, right? Now this doesn't work. This is the book master. Yeah. That's why they always get caught, boom, and knocked out. Yeah. So a real tongue, door ain't punch. Like punch straight. Feel the door. Feel. Feel the difference. You, right? And you see, you can tell that's going for you. You, you can feel the smoothness. I ain't feeling hard. Right. And you don't feel me trying to, I'm not interested in bringing your arm. I mean, it's, it's getting you, controlling you. So this technique. Soul. Right, so time, time is, is dark. Anytime I do dark, that's strike, that's controlling and striking simultaneously. Okay, so time can be used for the inside or the outside. So if you punch and I go, time, dark. Right now, you see what you just did there? Watch this elbow. This is called quiet mark. Quiet mark to get in here to do this. The shut gate. We cut back the shut gate to the throat. Right, time, time. You want to strike, boom, 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 lock, man, good, good. Now, you say you came here to hit me here, go on, go on, hope I turn. You see? Like the black, we master, white but, but, you know, I, I credit my brothers, you know, my Seahings, Mickey Chan, John Moyfour, Lester Lou, Henry, Philip, you know, yeah, uh, Julian. So all Wayne Chunks is basically the same thing. But you know, I say this is debate about this. You know, some people say, oh, this is not the, uh, different forms. I, I'm going to put it this way. It was a different time and different era and different yeah. landscape. People yeah. learned the Chung. Some got, you know, in different parts of China because it's over 52. Damn near different languages, you know, parts of China. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So um, you got a lot of different people who study, and I don't say it's not the Chung, it's the Chung, it's their Chung. It's their Chung from their land, with different terrain. You, you might, have, all your land might have been on the side of a hill, so it, the Chung might look a little different, but you will know if a person's doing the Chung because of the simplicity and continuity. That doesn't change. Maybe the movement might look different. I could teach all of you the same system, but all of us apply it differently. Feel me? So that's what goes back to what I said again from the beginning. It's not the art that is bad, it's man and woman who's bad who needs to strive for perfection. See, that's why there's no room for ignorance. Prize fighting is not the martial arts. We don't fight for prizes and, and his honor and his dignity behind his families, behind his it's 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 exchanging, it's it's, it's fellowshipping, it's just learning to respect other martial artists. That's how you grow. You don't grow when you just think your way is the only way. That's how you get your, you know what, you know, handed to you, you know. Uh, and if you're fighting, remember, you're fighting. I'm uh, playing, fighting, two different things. That's why I don't play when I'm, I'm getting down, I'm when it's time to exchange. But if I, and if I do play, I play is because I know you have real kung fu and, and, and you may be one of my disciples and I purposely take my elbow off the center because I know I want to see if your senses are going to try to attack the center line. And I sucker you to go for that and I already know what to do. 
to stop you. See, you got to know how to read that, you know, because I don't telegraph. You don't never know when I'm going to kick you or punch you. Because I'm not going to kick unless you kick. You punch, I punch. See, that's when you know someone really studied, you know, because a lot of these guys, book masters, watch movies. <laughs> Movie can't teach you neither. You know, you can listen, you study, you can learn something, right? But you don't study and have a real teacher. It says learn from a qualified instructor. I even think they should put that shit on the tapes at the end. Learn from a qualified instructor because you got everybody, not instructor. Okay, I have a couple of um, my my seat eye, my brother uh, Sifu Miguel, Miguel from Brooklyn, an uh, awesome um, Gung Fu teacher uh, and, and Gung Fu brother. You know, um, one of his students touched my heart, you know, hit me on the email, say to me, you know, um, uh, a lot of people throw, throw out there, they studied under Sifu Moya, uh, very true. And he said, uh, he's just seeing, um, who, uh, who was I one of those guys? I say, um, and so when I hit him back, yeah, I'm Siba, you know, uh, Si Hing of your Sifu. Your Sifu, my, uh, one of my favorite Kung Fu brothers as well. You know, he hit me back, so it was an honor. He said, uh, your name has been spoken in the Moon Fu so much, Moi Wu. So in China, a lot of people think I'm a Chinese person, you know, black guy who accepted by Chinese family. Yeah. Thank you for the lesson, Grandma. Yes, Watch yes, yes. Been a yes. I hope I everyone appreciated, and I hope everyone get something from the lesson, you know, not about ego, about studying and passing on the martial arts. Peace.